Welcome to the Art Lady's Home. I'm going to talk to you today about my uh, partially built-in refrigerator area. Now this is a wall and I call this my appliance wall. And in this appliance wall, I wanted everything to be hidden from the great room. So I designed this wall for all the appliances. And this was a very low budget remodel that I did myself. Um, I did have my brother make the cabinets. And then I did have my, at the time he was 16 years old, nephew and my son help build, and my son was young. Um, but they helped me tear out walls and things. And my nephew actually helped me lay some of the flooring in this remodel. But basically it was my, uh, most of my work done building, and it was a learning experience for the building part, and tearing out walls. Now what I did for this is this area, what you're looking at now was once um, two, no, three bifold closets down a hallway. And the kitchen originally ended here to the right at that pillar. And what you're seeing here, where the stool is, this was a hot water heater closet. And so my kitchen ended right at the counter where my counter begins. And the decorative area here where you see these little carved plaster roses, actually just pat plaster stencil roses that I did, this area is my hot water heater. And I left the hot water heater there because of the expense of moving it. And it, what it does is it forms this blockage so that so that from the dining room, you cannot see the kitchen appliances. And that's what I wanted. I did not want my appliances to be showing from the living room. I wanted the look of the kitchen to be more of a, um, you know, part of the living room, part of the dining room. And, and that's why I designed the accents, like the island, for example, to have that furniture look so that it blended in to the kitchen area. Um, how I built this, bump out right here for my refrigerator is the I use the existing wall in the back and then I attached a two by four to the wall and then I put a spacers and then I did two more two by fours to frame out the wall and then from there what I did was I attached all of my decorative pieces now all of this decorative pieces the crown molding and then the carved decorative um, freeze that's underneath the crown molding. All of this I just stumbled upon at a drastic discount as I was looking for uh, pieces to remodel this kitchen with. So what I did was I scoured all the clearance and sale items in those big box stores as I'm looking and designing my kitchen. And so when I stumbled upon them I would pick them up and, and the kitchen kind of designed itself from what was there and what was on sale. And I picked things that I absolutely loved um, with the moldings and trim. And I just lucked out by having these things go drastically on clearance. I stumbled upon those, um, the, t the top, they kind of look like mini, very thin corbels. And I stumbled upon those in a residential building supply store locally. And they were $15 a piece. And so I picked up some of those because I knew I wanted some decorative pieces in the kitchen. And then the, the top freeze part, um, that I stumbled upon and I ended up getting it at a clearance for $4 and 50 cents of eight foot piece. So that was like, whoa, way cheap. And so it's actually made of a, some kind of a styrofoamy plasticky thing. And it's, they work great for if you're gonna, um, paint them and then glaze on top. And that's exactly what I did. And same thing with the crown moldings. Those were picked up for under say five bucks. I think they were under five bucks at eight foot, eight or 10 foot sheet. And so I snapped those up absolutely quickly. Otherwise I would have went with something less expensive, but I stumbled upon it. So I loved it. And so I ended up using it. So that's how the kitchen ended up becoming uh, fairly decorative at a very budget friendly price. So basically scouring discount stores, scouring, uh, you know, your clearance sections. Um, that's, that's how I found these pieces. Now, once I had my bump outs, I decided on the, um, I, I originally wanted a wine rack above this, above this refrigerator. And so, uh, I decided afterwards that I didn't want it because there was actual heat coming out and around this refrigerator. And actually in one of these pantry closets, 
I have it open to the fridge so, so that I can use it as storage behind there. And it's actually the pantry closet to the, re to the left here. And the heat from the fridge is still bumping out that way. There's supposed to be an under vent heat thing here, but I end up getting back a lot of it in the back there too. So I did not want my wine up there in the wine rack. So I ended up just using it as a, um, I built a, just a simple box and I attached the simple box to the shelf and then I framed out the simple box with molding that matches my kitchen here. And you can see I haven't done a lot of the caulking in this area. A lot of this is not quite 100% finished yet. Some of the fine work here, I didn't, I didn't caulk those edges of that crown molding. Um, I'll, I'm gonna be doing that this summer while I'm off because I'm a teacher, so I'm off for the summer. Um, but the I did all the crown molding work myself. I learned in the process, did all the trimming, all of this, what you see here, I did with my own hands, um, building the wall and bump out. I mean, I was really proud of myself because I got the measurements perfect and I was expecting the refrigerator not to fit, but it all kind of fit in and worked out well. The refrigerator is a scratch and dent refrigerator. Um, actually, so is most of these appliances. Um, I had already had the refrigerator before I did the remodel. And so I purchased, um, and the, the Viking oven I purchased at a scratch and dent. And so I already had these things in my garage, actually the refrigerator I was using, the Viking was in the garage. And so I just had to to purchase the, um, the convection oven over here. Um, so it's all done basically on a huge, huge budget. Uh, very inexpensive budget rather. <laughs> um, but that's how I did my bump out and that's how I designed my bump out area. So basically your two by fours just sticking out to frame out your refrigerator. And this kind of makes it the focal point. It gives it a, you know, a little wild wow factor for this boring, ugly appliance wall. And I also did some decorative, if you could see it a little bit, decorative roses here with the plaster. And I'll make a video on how I did this. Um, and it kind of flows from the ceiling, kind of like a rose garland. That was my theme. I love roses. I love antique roses and I grow them in my garden. So I didn't want that grape theme that, you know, that I wanted something special and something different. And so I uh, used the roses and when I, when I found this very inexpensive molding up here, then that's when I really started doing a lot of the rose theme is in the kitchen. And here's some more plaster down here. Um, how it makes that garland going through that area. But that's basically how I did my um, bump out for the fridge to make it look like it's a custom built-in fridge. And I did leave a gap, I think it was, I wanted plenty of room around that fridge for airflow. And I did leave, um, I think an inch on each side or a little bit more um, for airflow. And my brother said I could go a little bit tighter, but I didn't want to. I wanted it to be, you know, have a lot of that airflow in there. And uh, that's about it. That's how I did it.